Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. Tesla coils are an incredible piece of equipment. Using resonance, they boost voltages into the tens or hundreds of thousands of volts, creating visual displays of sparks and arcs. After I built my first Tesla coil, my passion for science just exploded, which is why today I'm going to talk about my Genesis coil, which honestly is the coil that started it all. Teaching yourself how to build one of these things and to build it with a beautiful design changes how you look at the world. Honestly, you begin to understand that power ebbs and flows. It changes, it shifts. It can be stored or it can be transformed. And Tesla coils like this one here or the one you just saw are the pinnacle of power transformation. They don't create power, they just radically transform it. Hmm, let me show you what I mean by transform. Pretty cool, huh? And what you just witnessed was only about 360 watts. That's it. A lot of hair dryers will use over a kilowatt, so almost three times that much energy. That was only 360 watts. Being fed into the coil is 120 volts at 3 amps. 360 watts. What leaves the coil is 240,000 volts at a much lower current, but still 360 watts. Now let's be honest, the coolest part about a coil is of course it's discharges, which is why I build them. But Tesla coil discharges come in two different varieties which demonstrate different principles. First, open air discharges, which are a real-time visualization of the fractal ionization of air. And second, grounded arcs, which demonstrate rising plasma. They're the result of heated plasma from a spark cyclically rising upwards, then being energized by successive sparks. Coils create these beautiful sparks and arcs through a little known trick. When break rate is sufficiently high enough, it allows for longer sparks than is actually capable with the given voltage. This happens due to an overlap in pulses. The ionized channel remains open and then a second pulse is sent through the channel, extending the spark. As you can see with the coil, I'm ramping up the breakout rate and the arc length is increasing. This is the trick to massive Tesla coil arcs. And these devices function using fairly simple principles as well. Resonance, capacitance, and inductance. First, you have a primary capacitor with a large capacitance. At full charge, it dumps tremendous amounts of current through a spark gap, and it does so at a designable break rate. Each pulse of the spark gap travels through the primary coil, creating a reverberating electromagnetic field. This field induces voltage in the secondary, which has more inductance and is designed to resonate at the exact same frequency as the primary. Regardless of size, the primary coil and the secondary coil resonate together. And with every cycle of the resonance, more and more voltage is induced into the secondary coil. This pulsing resonance cycle repeats hundreds of thousands of times a second. Yeah, seriously. And if the frequencies of the two coils match up, you get a situation that's called a resonant voltage rise. And that gives way to the spectacular displays of sparks and arcs that we know Tesla coils for. Just like pushing a swing, push it at the right frequency and it will go higher and higher. There's your Tesla coil 101 and an introduction to my Genesis coil. These principles will be employed for our DIY episode on a 3 volt Tesla coil. So stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe to Plasma Channel. If you feel like you learned something pretty cool today, then give us a like or let us know in the comment section down below. And feel free to browse our other episodes. Links are also in the description below. You stay classy.